<clears throat> right, a quick video on wetting up a wicket and getting it started. If you get it to it too late in the day when it's dry, so I'm down at Carlin. I've left, got here about, came in early in the morning, it was, it was nice and moist, and then did my other work at the other ground. And I'm looking, uh, didn't get back in in time, where the moisture's still in it. So, what I'm gonna do is give it a nice, good, even flick, good coverage of water, and then I'm gonna cut cut existing clippings on it into the wicket rather than having to clip it up with uh, some some of the clippings I've got in the, in the shed there. So I'll just uh, with your consistency, you don't want to over flood it or anything like that. Um, but you do want to, if, you, if you're looking to get on it that night, so for example, on another occasion, if this had already been used this wicket, I might just come down, give it a nice good hand water tonight and then put it, uh, come back tomorrow morning and roll it straight up tomorrow morning with, and with that moisture nice sealed, well, sitting into the wicket. Uh, still plenty of drying time here today, so I'm pretty keen to get it started. Got good coverage most of the way through. So I'll just give it hand water all the way down. Then just gonna let it sit for probably uh, 20 to 30, and then I'll, roll, I'll cut it in and then roll it.
Okay, that was pretty easy done. Bang, nice up and back a few times. Get good coverage. Still pretty warm today, so I'm not going to, I know that it's going to dry up. And just give, give me that enough moisture there to give a good seal without it being too, uh, too messy. Hopefully uh, it does bring a little bit of colour to the leaf when I do roll it, but we'll, we'll see how it goes with the cut in uh, about 20 or 30 minutes. Okay, just got to mow it in now, okay, probably a touch moist for uh, what I was expecting by now, so we're just trying to go move, move along, so if we go over with the, the cylinder mow, I'll cut it in, hopefully it'll bring a bit of that moisture, it's just sort of sitting around to the surface and get rid of it, and then we'll clean the barrel of the roller and we'll get going and rolling it out, so it should, should be alright, hopefully not, not too much colour from the, the actual uh, cylinder mark or any uh, junk gets dropped off and hopefully the only the colour comes up with the actual roller.
Much ready to go. Um, got some clippings in this area here again. It's just a low spot from uh, uh, just the end, not being filled up as per usual in these sort of situations. So, you know, it's not too bad there. Uh, we should be able to get on the roller straight away. Just going to give it the barrel a clean on the roller and then we'll go from there.
nice good roll, good bit of colour coming up. No real streaking this week. In comparison to the other weekends, also a week will start a crap. We'll just have that bit of extra water on the top. Okay. A um, little bit of muck here, obviously. Just a low, as you can tell, the lows, both ends. A bit more colour on the top, it's nothing serious. Pretty happy with that. Uh, just along the edge here, you can sort of see that it hasn't really brought the colour up. Like, uh, I'll just get you in line. So that, that, that colour hasn't come up because I was over rolling that edge from the previous game. So there's, there is actually moisture there. So it's because of, there's already a bit of compaction there. It's probably slightly lower than that. Than the top here at the moment, so we've got to compact it down. Uh, it should cut out anyway, it shouldn't be visible game day. So, yeah, that's why that's there if you're wondering. Uh, overall, pretty good. Hopefully, this moisture doesn't all go overnight. Come tomorrow and give it another real good long set tomorrow morning and seal it up real nice. But uh, yeah, again, pretty happy with progress here. We've got good leaf coverage and you know, there's yeah, pretty much just a walk in the park from here without any interruption unless this rain comes that potentially was early in the week coming. Uh, in, just with my prep, I normally don't like cutting in my wicket early if I don't have to. So uh, we're obviously doing it at the moment, every now and then, just to give you an example. But I don't really like to. If I've got good coverage, low, low good coverage, like this wicket here now, I'd like to try and just roll it without taking any leaf off and leaving all the life in it as possible for the game, it's particularly for two-day cricket. Um, One-day cricket, obviously I still like to make it a white, really good batting track. But two-day cricket, I want to see a bit of green there. I want the, the bowlers to know they've got something there to work with, the ball's going to stay a bit shiny and so on. So give them, you know, it's all about perception to, in some regards, the mental side of the game of cricket where if people see there's a bit of green in it for a bowler and you know even if it does play pretty flat you know they go oh, look like a good week here like you put in you got something out of it or the ball stayed new all, all day so that's what we're just aiming for with it probably won't get it too good because it's still just got that that thatchy stalky stuff still which you can sort of see in the whiteness here where it's been mucked up over this side still got that thatchiness there that uh, come, come the next two day game after this one or even next week, this wicket should be should be a bit greener, a bit more just leaf rather than what we got here at the moment. Uh, yeah, that's about it for now. We look, oh, we're looking looking good. So, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Uh, so just in regards, in regards to this pitch prep, if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to comment, get in touch. If you want to know why I'm doing something a certain way or why I haven't done this or why I haven't done, done that, let me know, okay? Then we're focusing on what, what's available to an amateur cricket curator. If I was at a different venue with all the equipment, I'd be doing things probably a little bit differently to this, um, particularly the lead-in wouldn't be just game week. There'd be a lot more prep going into a bigger game earlier on than just starting a wicket now uh, on a Wednesday for a Saturday game, particularly if this wicket not having any work in it since last season. Thank you.